All right, everybody, good afternoon. Thought I would use this window to talk a little bit about injuries because Carol did offer some updates earlier today concerning injured players. Um, there isn't a lot really wrong with this team right now in terms of health, though. So this is not going to take terribly long. And most of the stuff that needs to be talked about coming out of that game yesterday is minor. There was one injury that we sustained in that game that looks like it's going to have a lasting effect in Derek Young. Derek Young was the one player who went down who looks like he's going to miss some time. Honestly, I don't expect to see him again this year. And as much as I do like Derek Young, I understand that he's very low on the hierarchy of importance for this team. So I got some uh, zeets from Brady Henderson. He's got the details. Let's take a look here. Carroll said they're a little concerned about wide receiver Derek Young, who had an issue related to the abductor injury that required surgery. Yesterday was his first game back from that surgery. So Carroll says they're a little concerned, which means they're probably a lot concerned, which means I don't think Derek Young should or will play football again this year. Um, we don't have some dire need for him. He's a special teamer and a receiver with a little bit of flexibility. But uh, we can get by with what we have. In many ways, Jake Bobo has been an adequate replacement for Derek Young. Like, when you think about Derek Young last year, he was the receiver who was typically on the field for running plays. In fact, his presence on the field became a tell because we liked his blocking. Well, Bobo is like that, except he's a better blocker than Derek Young by a long shot. And he was also somebody we liked on special teams. Well, Bobo's doing special team stuff too. Uh, the only thing that you lose is the wide receiver lining up at fullback thing that um, Derek Young offered a little bit last year. But I think we can live without that. Um, I don't think that's going to be such a big part of the offense that we're like devastated we can't do that. We haven't really been doing it at all this year, so I don't know why anything would change. Um, so yeah, I'm expecting Derek Young to just miss the rest of the year and, uh, we'll be back next year. Next year, uh, should be good to go, but I don't want to do anything to jeopardize that. The, uh, only other bits of injury related news revolved around guys who did not play in yesterday's game. Tyler Lockett doesn't seem to have any negative effects from the hit he took to the head. So I think that, um, we can all rest easy about that for now. But uh, the updates we got concerned Anthony Bradford. Anthony Bradford should be back this week after missing the game for a personal matter. So I don't know exactly what the nature was of him missing that game, but uh, he should be back for the Rams if we need him. And um, I don't think the interior offensive line played poorly against Washington at all, so I'm okay rocking with what we have. But I also understand that both Damian Lewis and Phil Haynes are not really having great years, and they're both injury prone. So this is definitely good news. People should definitely be happy about this. So yeah, Bradford expected back on Sunday against the Rams. That leaves one thing really remaining, which is Abe Lucas. This is the big one. This is the one that would actually move the needle. Uh, the plan is still for Abe Lucas to get back to practice this week. But he didn't say anything about Lucas's chance of being ready to play Sunday at the Rams. I would assume he doesn't play against the Rams. I think that he's been out for so long, two months, they're going to need to see at least a couple weeks of practice from him before they actually put him in a game. It's going to be like Jamal Adams. Remember, Jamal Adams... Now, obviously, Adams missed way more time than Lucas, but Adams practiced for a few weeks before we actually got him in a game. And he's still... I think that you're still seeing... He's not up to full speed yet. Now, again, Adams' situation was far more extreme than what Lucas is going through right now. Lucas has missed half a season. Adams missed a, more than a full calendar year. So I, I'm not saying it's going to be like that. But I don't think they're going to look at one week of practice from Lucas, even if he looks good, and then say, yeah, go in and play against uh, the Rams. So I think the plan is we survive one more week without Lucas. Must win, by the way. Very important we win this game on Sunday. And then we try to get him back for the four-game gauntlet, starting on Thanksgiving. And I think he's got a good chance of being back for th that gauntlet. Hopefully, 
it's not a brutal welcome back to the NFL moment for him going up against Bosa and maybe Parsons and maybe a little bit of Hassan Reddick. But uh, I think the fact that we're playing those guys illustrates the fact that we need Abe Lucas. So, yeah, that's what I'm expecting. He misses this week against the Rams, even though he practices this week. And then we get him back for the 49ers game against Thanksgiving, on Thanksgiving, rather. All right. That's the injury update. That's it. Everything else is good. Nobody else got hurt in that game. We don't really have any other ongoing situations. Like, Nwosu's not an ongoing situation at this point. He's out for the year. We can revisit this in the playoffs, maybe, but that's it. So, see you guys later. Go Hawks. Let me know what you think. Probably another video coming later today, but if not, I'll see you guys on Twitch tonight. Going to try to beat Starfield. See y'all later.